so uh, 3 3.35 on the afternoon of day 9 so um, Saturday um, Saturday has the the benefit of being football basically from you know one o'clock in the afternoon until 10 o'clock at night so um, that's basically the 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 plan for today um, in the middle of watching a very good game uh, greater wit this is Australian rules football for all those who don't know exactly what football I'm talking about this is um, the game that they play in um, primarily in Victoria, South Australia and Western Australia, although it's become very popular in um, Sydney and Queensland in the last few decades. But um, in Sydney, usually when you talk about football uh, or, or in Queensland, when they talk about football, they're usually talking about a different game. They're talking about rugby league, which is not one of my favourite sports at all. Um, I, I used to like it when I was like 12, 13, but I, I got over it pretty quickly. I went to one grand final uh, in uh, 1982, I think it was. Uh, no, actually, I've been to two grand finals. I went to the grand final in 1982, which was, if I'm correct, it, it might have been 81 or it might have been 80, but um, it was Parramatta versus Newtown. Um, and then I saw another one, I think it was 1989, and I can't remember who was in it, but I know the Raiders were in it, Canberra. Uh, anyway, I'm getting really sidetracked here. Um, so watching Australian rules football, watching a nice, very interesting game versus, uh, which is Greater Western Sydney versus the uh, versus Brisbane. Um, it's um, you know it's a pretty pretty entertaining game. And there's more, two more games to to follow after this, one after the other. There's so yeah, plenty to do today. Um, this morning I redecorated my room. Um, don't ask me why. But uh, I thought it might be good to sort of create some space. You know, the, there was two beds here. So what I did was is I took one of the beds and I've leaned it up against the wall here where the couch was. And I moved the couch now in front of the television where my bed was. That's the bed that I put up. On the wall there and I will be using the other bed from now on in any case it's after a week so it's nice to have a change of sheets um, but now I have a nice little space here where I can sit in front of the um, the television and uh, with a little coffee table and um, uh, here see here's the television and, and there's my little sofa so far, so far, so good. Ho, ho. Oh, God. That was terrible. Anyway, so, um, yeah, nine, day nine. Um, so what's the difference? I mean, you're in quarantine, right? What's, what's super, like, why am I making films about this? What's the big deal? Um, it's really an interesting experience I won't say it's a <sighs> look it's being locked up against your will for two weeks it's it's basically being incarcerated and there are a lot of people that are incarcerated that would take issue with that and say oh, you've got fast internet you've got you know space you've got uh, the door's not actually locked although I'm not supposed to obviously go outside um, you know, obviously there's a, there's a number of reasons, you know, I, I don't have a communal shower where I have to be careful if I drop the soap. It's obviously not like being actual jail or prison. However, there are some things about this, which are in fact, I think more cruel than being in jail um, and that is that I have not other than the um, the nurse that gave me a COVID test on day two I have not actually had any contact with a real with a person 
other than over, obviously, telephone or WhatsApp or video or whatever, in nine days. So I haven't had any, like, I haven't seen a human face in real life in nine days. So it's actually like being in solitary confinement in jail. Um, But even that, I mean, as far as I know, when you're in solitary, they still give you like an hour each day or something or 30 minutes or whatever it is in, you know, to like walk around the exercise yard or something. But I'm not actually allowed out of this room at all. And there's no open window here. There's no fresh air whatsoever. I mean, it's all, it's, the window is completely sealed. I mean, I have a nice view and I have sunlight, but it is totally sealed. So God forbid, if you're a smoker, um, then you are totally shit out of luck. I mean, I'm not, uh, haven't been for many years now, but imagine you're a smoker and all of a sudden you have to just go cold turkey two weeks no cigarettes whatsoever. I mean, that's, um, I don't think prisoners have it that bad either, um, in that respect. Um, and I haven't had a breath of fresh air in nine days now. (laughs) And I mean, that's some, again, that's something that I think that even prisoners are entitled to, you know, to have some fresh air every, every day, basically. So, um, yeah, it's um, it's kind of uh, it's kind of an extreme uh, circumstance that is, you know. I mean, again, like, you know, I've got, I, I, I get to order in. I mean, I haven't yet, but I mean, I've ordered like stuff from the supermarket. Um, there's a room service, you know. I, again, I haven't ordered anything in room service. Um, but, um, I, I did get a, you know, I mean, you get care packages in prison and I got a care package from, from Alexis. Um, so, and I got a delivery of a, of a guitar. I don't know if you can do that. Maybe you can have a guitar in prison. I guess it depends on the circumstances of you, whether it's a high security prison or low security prison or whatever. But, um, it's, um, you know, there, obviously there are things here that are not prison, but it is, a very extreme thing to do to people. Um, you know, I mean, they just sort of close you up in this room and that's it. You're on your own for two weeks with your own head. You know, I mean, I, I, I was reading one of these forums the other day and some woman was like, listen, there's someone in the room next to me and she's crying. She's just bawling. You know, I feel, what do I do? Um, some people can't, uh, you know, can't hack it. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm okay. I'm not like, um, I'm not, <laughs> I haven't started like writing on the walls in my own feces yet. Thank God. I'm okay. I'll be fine. But, you know, would I like, is this a, is this something that I would recommend anyone do? <laughs> Only if you really have to. <laughs> Only if you really, really, and you know, I'm in the Novotel, which is okay. It's not, I mean, some people are in the Intercontinental, you know, it's a beautiful five-star hotel. Um, and, but when they were driving me here, they, the, one of the hotels they're using is the Ibis. And when I saw the Ibis, my heart sank because I know what Ibis is like. I mean, it's like really not very good hotel. Um, uh, but <laughs> thank God I'm in the Novotel. Thank God I got a nice view of Sydney. Um, a balcony would have been fair. Oh God, what I would give for a balcony or just an open window. Anyway, that's the uh, day nine update. Take it easy. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Same time, same stupid joke. Yeah.